So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on New, More, and Google Drawings. This is all from your drive. It opens up a blank Google Drawing. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the actual drawing surface. And you do that by clicking on that little bottom corner there. It looks like a little uh, turn the page uh, icon. And I'm going to get a nice big rectangle. And then I'm just going to right click anywhere on that transparent background. Right click. And I get a menu there. So choose background. Go over and choose a background color. I'm going to just choose a white background. I'm going to go to insert. I'm looking for word art because I need that Google, those Google letters, G-O-O-G-L-E. So I'm choosing word art. And I'm just going to type a G. So I've got my word, word art there, the G. And I can change the font style by going up there to my toolbar. And I'm changing it from Arial, which is the default, to Alpha Slab 1. And so now... I can change the color of that letter by going to the fill bucket. The good old fill bucket, remember from MS Paint days. I'm just going to make that letter white. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because now I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to shape. And I'm going to find a circle. And I'm going to drag a circle right over top of that G. Uh-oh, it's blocking my G. So what do I need to do? I need to right-click on that circle, and I need to, need to go to Order. Now I'm going to send that circle to the back, and there's my G. And because this is a Garrett Morgan Google Doodle, uh, I'm going to click on my circle, and I'm going to uh, go to my Fill Bucket, and choose red because Garrett Morgan invented the traffic light. So there's my red light there. And so now all I have to do is just kind of drag over top my G in my circle there and duplicate it. Yeah, duplicate. Not copy paste, but duplicate. So you can do that under edit duplicate or you can go to control D and just control D, control D, control D until you've got enough letters to spell out Google. I will change the letters and the coloring in just a second. Uh-oh, I'm running out of room. But because it's drawings, I can make this canvas as big as I need it. All right, so I'm just going to keep dragging. So I'm keep dragging, and I've got it bigger now. So I'm up to my G, my second G, it looks like. And I'm going to drag it over, duplicate again. There's my L. I need one more letter. I'm looking for the E. So now I'm just going to go back and change those letters. So I'm changing the G to an O. G to an O. I can leave that second G alone. I'm going to change that G to an L. And the last letter is an E. Then I click on my circles and make them the right color. Oops, going to make it yellow. Next one's going to be green. Red, yellow, green. And then repeat. Red, yellow with the fill bucket. And then the last one's going to be green. And so now I want to make this look more like a Google Doodle. So I'm going to replace one of the letters with actually a picture of Garrett Morgan. So if I go up to insert image, search the web, I can search for a picture of Garrett Morgan. And then I'm going to insert that picture of Garrett Morgan there. And it's a square. Uh-oh. What am I going to do? You'll see. So if I drag it up over the G there and... I go up to, right next to my crop button, there's mask image. It's a little down arrow next to the crop button. I click on that mask image down arrow, and then I get options. I'm going to go to shapes, and I'm going to look for that oval button, that oval oval shape there. So if I did oval shape, now it's an oval. It's a, it's a circle, so it's just like a traffic light. He fits right in. He fits right into my Google Doodle there, so perfect. So now I'm going to look for some uh, more bling because Google Doodles can get pretty fancy. I'm going to go to Insert Image Search the Web again. And I'm going to look for some traffic lights. So I'll just do traffic light. And I can add space P and G there to see if I can get an image without a background. But it's not really going to matter because I've got a white background here. So I've got my traffic light. I'm going to drag it up. 
Uh-oh, it's on top of the letters. What am I going to do? You remember, order, right-click order, send to back. And so there it is. I can rotate it, and it's hiding there behind the G and the O. Perfect. And how I'm going to get another one of those, I'm going to control D, duplicate, and I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to make that one. Right-click, order, send to back. And it's behind the L and the E. And so I'm going to open up a new tab here with my plus there up top, right next to my last tab. And to make this super realistic, I'm going to do just a Google search for Garrett Morgan. And I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm just going to copy that search, uh, those search result link there. Right click copy or control C. And now I'm going to hyperlink. Garrett Morgan's uh, picture there. And I'm going to apply the hyperlink. And there we go. So now when somebody clicks on the picture, they've got a hyperlink that will take them to search results and information on Garrett Morgan, just like for real Google Doodles. If you click on the Google Doodle, it takes you to search results for whatever that topic is. Let me give it a title, Garrett Morgan Google Doodle DL Day. Then if I want to, I can insert a text box and uh, just draw a little rectangle there. And I can type in it, change the font size to a bigger size if I need to. And I can just say, this is my custom Google Doodle for Garrett Morgan. And then just give a little bit of information on him.